on. Carrying on this beautiful walk, everyone. I'm so glad I'm not sat in my box. I don't mind it in the winter with the fire on, doing my family tree stuff. And on rainy days, and dark, horrible, windy days, it's lovely. You can go and put the kettle on, get etc. But when it's like this, and that's why I get worn out in the summer because I have to go out. Now what I do, I know I can't do a big walk like this every day because it's forecast to be like this for a week. Um, what I'll have to do, what I have to do is um, do some tree work, <coughs> something on the computer in the morning, don't rush to get up, have your breakfast and then do what I call small local walks. It's just really to get me out in the air so I still walk in the winter. But I don't do the big hikes because you haven't got the light. You know what I mean? There's no, there's, you don't have the light. The good thing about like today, if I did miss every bus, I know it's still possible to walk home. It would take me a long time. I mean, look, I got all cool. All the way up there, yeah. Let me zoom in. Just met about six people going by, young people. All with the gear on. All with the gear on. Yeah, I'm going to walk up there. You can't hear the motorway anymore. Very, very faint. Very, very faint. And, um... Beautiful views everywhere, though. Everywhere I look, there's beauty. Bamwell. Winscombe. Winscombe and Barnwell. The hill I walked along today this morning, along there, I wavered down. Yeah, I've been doing, why well, still walk in the winter? I can still do four, five hour walks. I do like exploring really, um, going off. Um, I do like to go off really. I would be off now if I had my van. <laughs> I would, this is compensation for not being able to get away. Not be able to explore my ancestors properly. I do, I do lots of local stuff, which I love. I do love it as well, so it's not like awful. I uh, I love it. So that's what happens. I might walk up the road, get over the gate, so I won't be doing Hutton Wood. Um, it can be kept for another time. So. Sometimes I do, Huttonwood, but I'm two hours behind because of buses. And there we have Crook's Peak again. I'll just show you again. That's how far I've walked. I've been on top of that earlier. And of course I've done the rest. Right, I'm just going to... Um, Turn off and take a picture. This of will that. be a big Hold video, on. by the way. This could be this is going to be another ten gigabyte. I've got to be careful now because I'm going low on b battery. So I just do a bit more here while we walk along. I can still see. I can still see Bamwell Hill Fort with the big tree on top. There it is. Let's take a picture of that right. as well. Right, we've left the long, narrow path, all uphill, but steady. We've now got a broader pathway and we're heading closer to 
junction points. Canada Coombe area and Hutton. Um, and where I'll make a decision whether to go down Canada Coombe or stumble down through the wood. It depends on the time and whether I think I can do it. If I think I should be better off on the road, I will. I need to be at the bus stop by 22 an hour. The last one, I think, is 20 to 6. I'm not, I'm not sure. I have to look on the bus timetable. We've got plenty of time for that one. But I'd rather get the 20 to 5. Um, I don't think I'll do the 20 to 4. Something tells me I won't. Um, sorry it's bumpy everyone, sway. It's very difficult to keep this bulky camera still. And I have to give my wrist a rest, the one that broke. And is still in recovery. Fields are gorgeous, full of buttercups and dandelions. This is a gorgeous field that stretches over to a lovely valley. I go down when it's not the season of the cow. I sometimes go down this time of year as well, I will risk it. Of course, out with Sam Bay now, they've got cows everywhere. Um, so that is a more of a worrying walk, I'd call it now. I remember when the cows were out before. This is herds of bullocks, not even a dairy herd. So, but they might not be in with the sheep yet, so you might be able to do a bit. But they were split the herd, which made it worse in a way, because that means they're all over the place. So you still can see that you're coming up. Well, it was half past ten when I got to Winscombe and started walking up the road. It was half past ten. They're gorgeous, these. Look at that. Lovely bells. And um, I would say it's at least four o'clock now. Or going on for four, easily now. Um, so I haven't, I haven't dawdled this last bit, no. And I won't until I know I look at the time again. And I don't want to do that until I get to the end of this track. I need to look then, because I have to make a decision which way to go. Right? A decision will have to be made. There's lots of bluebells here, isn't there? There's a little copse. Deer hang about in there. Or Crooks Peaks in the distance now. And I was on Crooks Peak looking over to here earlier thinking I've got to go over there yet. But I always love to think of this walk. I like doing it. But it is, it is a long walk, and if you're under pressure because of buses, it's worse. Um, now, years ago, I didn't used to get a bus. I would walk the whole way home. And when I lived up the other end of town near Grove Park, I would walk all the way up the beach as well. And I can remember getting to uphill and having to face the sun. It was always over the sea when it was the home time. 
and remember that scorching sun after you've been for this big walk. I, would, I used to do a lot more. Like I said, I would walk the whole way back. I wouldn't use buses. But of course I have got a bus pass. So I thought to myself, well, use it. It doesn't matter if you, you've done a big hike anyway. It doesn't matter if you've got to use, if you want to use a bus. Use it or lose it. And we've lost the bloody 126. I was a regular. Nearly at the end now. See these big stone slabs, look. Not quite sure what they are, or where they come from, or what they symbolise, but... Uh, pheasants in there, in here. Right, turn off for a minute. Right. Look at that lovely view, everyone. Roborough Warren, right over there, where we were the other day. Shoot Shelf Hill, which we've done this year several times. Waverley Down. Crooks Peak. Further, it's lower down than the trig point, actually. It's not, it's not the highest point over there. Um, and it'll come into view in a second. Some spring lambs there. Hello. Hello, Mama. Yeah, look at our baby. Yeah. You're supposed to have checked the time, Sheila. I'm going to in a minute. Look at this beautiful view, though. Just, you know, just walking down here on this beautiful day with the sun and the blossom and the clouds and the blue sky. I mean, it's just... Absolutely fantastic, our world we live in, and we don't want it blown and nuked. When these rich people have got their bunkers and they can escape, we want to keep our lovely land. So does everybody else in the world. We don't want black skies and smoke and everything disappeared, everything. I'm just going over to this gate. I'm just going over to this gate and then I'm going to check the time. Look at this view. Fantastic, isn't it? Fantastic, everyone. Look. There's Crook's Peak there. You come right round now, see? Let me take a picture over and out.